So it's another day. This is what we've got done so far. Um, we've been uh, working in between rain, loads of rain. So we've uh, we've not been filming too much of it. We've just been filming what we can when it stopped raining. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get the felt and lats on today because it's going to rain again tomorrow. And then um, <clears throat> hopefully when it's raining tomorrow, we can get under there and finish this stonework off under these. We've just got um, just propped up with a bit of wood at the minute. So we'll get it felted and lathered, then we haven't got too much weight on it. And then we'll sort that out tomorrow, probably in the rain, because it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we'll get this felted and lathered. It's looking smart, that front. Right, let's crack on. So we've got our first lat already nailed that we did yesterday. This is just slack. We haven't uh, put this on yet, because we're going to get all this levelled all the way through afterwards. But we've got these to put on first, these trays. So, that's why we've left uh, the fascia on. So, they'll go like that, lot. Right, so that'll go on like that. And there's gutter all go underneath there, and then you run your felt over the top of this, and then you tile. And just go together like that. Right, we'll, uh, we'll tack them on and then uh, we'll run some felt. Right, so we've got, um, we've got this board on lock and then there's a lat under here to stop it from flexing. So that goes on then, your felt goes over the top like that and then you can put your faces on first Ours is just tacked on because um, there's a lot of messing about with these faces with these. We've got to trim them down and stuff, so we want to get roof on because it rain. So we've left them off for now, but it is easier if you put them on first. So we've we've set that out so fascia will slide into this groove here, and then we've put the cement boards on as well. And they overhang 50 mil over that side, and it should work out. On these tiles, these tiles have got to be laid uh, because pitch one, 20, um, 22 degrees. We have to do a 100 millimeter lap on tiles. So when tiles go on, they'll, uh, they'll lap over 100 mil there. So we've already measured that all the way up. And uh, it just works out, there's a bit more of a lap on top one, uh, but it's not too bad. So that's the way it's worked. And then we're going to half lap these. So, a lot of people, I've laid them before where they just where you just put them like that, and pretty much every um, councillor doing a load of jobs near us, and every roof is just laid for not half lapping. They don't half lap them, they just lay them like that. Even that roof over there is just laid like that. But every time I lay them like that, um, Everybody says it's wrong and we should do them half lap. But most times, if it's a new rule, I do do them half lap. When you're matching into something else, sometimes you'll just copy whatever they've done. Well, that's me anyway. But yeah, we're going to half lap these ones anyway, so hopefully I won't get any stick. <laughs> right, well, uh, we've got some tiles up already. All the tiles are up. So we're going uh, to we'll set camera up and we'll start putting these on. Get these out of the way. Not in it. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Mark, as soon as we hear it, bro. <laughs> my trees.
He's gone again. Who needs a car when you can have an helicopter? Eh? Nice. Right, plasterboard in today. Right, so inside we've got 80 mil king span, and then um, we've got some thermal wrap on outside. Um, because custom wants to see as much of these uh, purlins and ridge board as um, as he can, so we've just put thermal wrap on. So right, let's crack on. Let's get these plasterboards on. Right. Yep. Yeah, one 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 thirty. Bye. Two six twenty. Two six twenty. That's more than a bullet, isn't it? Dark, isn't it, today? Yep. Bit of a dark one. Right, So we've got these ceilings on, we've just caught, um, got it caught there, so we're going to put a bit of adhesive in there so they can plaster over it. So we're, we're not doing plastering on this job, some, uh, some plasterers are coming out and uh, going to do it while we do some other things because we've got plenty to do. We're going to do, um, we're going to go fit a kitchen actually while they come plaster this. But yeah, so we've got, um, got some adhesive. Some more plasterboard mixer. I haven't, um, I haven't got my big mixer again, so we'll bring that in the morning though, because it's uh, two o'clock now. So we'll get a couple of these on. Uh, we'll mix a bit with this and drill, and then I'll bring my big mixers in the morning then. All right, let's crack on. I think we're going to start on this wall here. Two point four foot board, so I know where to put me. Do a Somewhere around there. And I've already marked that outside. So, and then we're going to sit it on these plasterboards at the bottom so it's off floor. I always do that because if you get a spill up on the floor then, it ain't going to soak into the plasterboard because the plasterboard's going to set above it. So we purposely uh, put us wall plate on above 2.4 um, just so we're not cutting out boards at the top, saves a lot of time. So we've got... So we always bedded it a bit higher, so we're up here a lot. So we'll get some packing under there. We've got about an inch, inch and a half at the bottom of that, which is fine. So we'll just lift them to the ceiling then and pack them. Now we've got this, uh, that make good adhesive, this stuff here. It's the first time we've used the make good one. It's just come in uh, 10k bags. They reckon 
one bag per plasterboard, the big ones, big plasterboard. So I've got a bag mixed up and uh, we'll see if it's actually right. And um, if it does it, if not, we'll just mix a bit more like that. Hopefully this will do it. And we've got some uh, cables that I need to cut in now. Now I'll make a nice neat hole. So we're starting off at 20 mil, so I just put this on like that and then put it on straight, then pull that level so it goes level with that. That's it. I'll draw that all the way across now. Well, it fit. I made it a little bit bigger. Five mil on each side, just looking so not queen doing it twice. Come on, mate. Well, it's going in, it's going in. That's not bad at all, is it? No. Five mil on the side? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Pull it up. Oh god, another rocket. Well, we're just going to stick some kings in here to stop cold spots. So we're just going to foam it in. Well, <laughs> stick. Are you going to stick? No. Oh, it's not going to plan. Put it on the board then, eh? I think once we press it against it, it'll stick. Yeah. Yep. All the many areas as
So that's it, plasterboard in's done, ready for plasterers to come and skim it. I've just uh, filled little gaps in and what have you with adhesive, so it's all good, good, ready to skim. So when we come back, we're going to be tiling, um, put some self level down. If you can remember when I um, concreted this floor, I was struggling for time to get it in because it was coming with concrete. So we got it all in and I only had 80 mil at this end. So I pulled it forward to get us 100 mil all the way around. We had 120, uh, 130 at back, I think it was. So we've just self-leveled that, so it's ready for tiling. So that's the next job, guys. Tiling, tiling in here. So I will see you in the next one. <laughs>